Hey guys, Officer Earlier here, back with New Jersey Coasters, and we're currently on the car on the way to Six Flags New England. And it's been downpouring like the whole way here. And Six Flags New England has a reputation for closing early in weather, and our friend Mike came over here on Sunday this week, and he got to the park, and without any warning, they just closed it. Uh, they only posted to their Facebook page, not on Instagram, so he had no idea. He got all the way here, and then was forced to leave. Um, so we're really hoping that's not the case now. I'm gonna go in here. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, we made it to Six Flags New England. The lady at the preferred parking entrance said that they don't know if the park is closing early or not. And the bad weather seems to have just moved out of the area. And we're walking out through the side, but thank God we had preferred parking in there. And Larry had the handicap sticker, so we didn't have to walk all the way across the uh, bridge because the parking situation here on a normal day is not fun. Well, it looks like they're letting people in, so we're going to head on inside. I don't see any roller coasters or any rides currently cycling, but... Let's see if we can have a Six Flags day here today. Okay, the security thing's a little weird here. So they scan your park ticket first and then you go through security. Oh! Nice to see all the Looney Tune characters out, taking photos of people. And hopefully we're gonna get some rides in today. Uh, the weather does look like it's clearing up in the area. So should start seeing some of the taller stuff start cycling soon, hopefully. <laughs> really wanna get on at least Superman and Wicked Cyclone. I heard a rumor here that they were actually discontinuing the flash pass here during this season, but it looks like it's still here. Um, but uh, the biggest rumor is that next season, the flash pass is definitely going away and they're gonna be replacing it with Six Flags' own internal system to skip the lines with, because Flash Pass is actually its own separate entity outside of Six Flags that Six Flags pays to have inside the parks. And so without that, they'll have to do it all internally, which is fine. It'll probably save a little, a little money on their end. We're going to be heading down the hill here, probably up toward Wicked Cyclone first. Well, this whole area looks completely different since the last time I came. I actually didn't come here at all last season. Uh, just a matter of planning and stuff. But um, obviously, over here used to be Goliath, which was this huge 200 plus foot tall uh, boomerang coaster. It was an inverted boomerang, a giant inverted boomerang to be specific. It was, it was a huge piece of crap. It was really, really rough and when uh when it, when it came over here actually yeah this actually was relocated from another six flags park and when they relocated it had the original trains and for some reason when they moved it here they decided that the trains just weren't gonna work so they changed them premier rides supplied the new trains and they just did not ride well on the track the trains beat the crap out of the track and they just were not comfortable and riding it wasn't a comfortable experience at all just overwhelmingly a rough ride and not not very enjoyable but this plot of land here does seem prime for yeah. a, a small RMC, maybe a Raptor or something like that. Jason, you think an RMC Raptor over here would be nice? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I think I agree with that. It looks like the Become a Madhouse Ride Houdini is still closed. Last time I was here, that whole area of the park was also closed, but I think it reopened for a brief period of time and then it's not closed again for some reason. I don't know, those Houdini rides are really cool. I love Become a Madhouse attractions. Right over here is the old entrance sign for where Goliath would have been. And that exit, I think, is right over here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> they turned it into a little seating area, it looks like. I wonder if they're ever gonna do anything with this abandoned Skyway Tower. It's just kind of chilling here. It's got some wait times on it, a couple of speakers and lights. He should ride it. He was like, I'll ride it. How tall is it? 400 feet. Because uh, <laughs> he was scared of the one in uh, America. Oh, wow. That one's twi twice laughing. as tall. <laughs> and we rode the one in Orlando, and I was just like, uh, you weren't quite like that. You were scared of that. At first. Once we moved <laughs> off the ground, I was fine with it. I don't, but, like, looking up is kind of scary. I would love to ride this thing today if it's open. It's one of the tallest star flyers in the world still. I don't want to ride back row on the Wicked Cyclone. Back row on the Wicked Cyclone is the best row on the Wicked Cyclone. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> killed him with the rain rides last time we were here. Oh, they're incredible. Oh, my God. All right, uh, we're just going to see... Hopefully some of these rides start opening soon. I know there's no more weather in the area. The sun starting to peek out through the clouds. Oh, yeah, what the hell, huh? That's stupid. Oh, wow. <laughs> the skyscraper sign looks really outdated, and I also added a little thing at the bottom that says world's tallest swing ride, which is not true at all. They also removed the New England part. It used to be called the New England Skyscreamer. It's just uh, Skyscreamer. And also, the gift shop for the ride is gone now, and it's just lockers. <laughs> I remember buying a shirt in there years ago. I know, I did too. Because they didn't have them at the front of the park. Yeah, yeah. They had them at the ride. And they still don't have any coaster shirts or anything really here. It's, the thing about this park is there's not really much merchandise. You can't find anything for each. It's all the generic. You could find a couple of Superman things or maybe one Wicked Cyclone shirt here or there, but really nothing too crazy. You go to some of the Six Flags parks, they have really good merch, like Great Adventure and uh, Magic Mountain and stuff. Do they make you put stuff in the locker? 
No, you can bring bags and stuff up on the platform here. That's not, not really understanding what the whole point of this locker system is here. We're gonna have to wait and see what the deal is. Here we go, first test train. Things are looking good. Standing next to this thing now, I can clearly tell it's not 400 feet tall. I'm sorry, Six Flags. I've seen, seen the Orlando Starflyer, it's definitely 400 feet tall. This thing is like way shorter than that. And they sent a couple of more test trains, and they're holding us here at the entrance, so hopefully we can get in there soon. It's still technically one of the taller swing rides in the world. <laughs> oh, they'll ne they will never, never fix this problem. It's like Q just always gets flooded. Always. <laughs> you don't remember this, Jason? <laughs> Jason and his dad just got off and they're having trouble with the restraints now, so it went down. Yeah, that, that there is um, why the ride is broken. <laughs> Apparently, whenever the restraint flips back down again like that, they can't load it or something. I, I don't understand. We're not off to a good start here. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, Wicked Cyclone is down, and they didn't tell the person working at the entrance, so the line just got really big, too. We're just gonna hang out here at the Skyscreamer. I don't know what's going on here today. The Wicked Cyclone went down before while I was waiting for it, and now the Starflyer is having problems. No, oh, just kidding. The girl has her phone out. And Jason and his dad got off the Starflyer after they brought it down because the girl had her phone out, and then Jason's dad said he had enough. He was like, no, no, that's as high as I want to go. They might have been like 100 feet off the ground or something like that. Sick. It looks like Blizzard River's open. It's not overwhelmingly warm out today. It's probably only like 75 or so. There's a huge storm, like I said, that rolled through earlier. It kind of knocked all the humidity out. We're ready to soar an unknown amount of height above New England. And we can tell you back open, so we're going to head over there right after this. Hopefully getting on it pretty quick. It is running two trains and it looks like both trains are cycling. <laughs> the attendant's like, why are you swinging? <laughs> We're high up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, dude, I've never been this high before. Whoa, no. <laughs> But fun. Just got off the New England skyscraper. It was so good. I started swinging like right off the ground. Like I let my feet drag right as we were lifting off the ground. I caused the swing. The attendant gave me a look and he's like, yo, calm down a little bit. So I got up to the top of the tower and started swinging a little more. Oh, that's such a cool ride. Of course, the one in Orlando is a lot better because it's like 100 feet taller. There's no way in hell this thing is 400 feet tall. Like I live right next to the world's tallest roller coaster, King Takah, and that's 450 yeah, feet tall. This, this is not 400 feet tall. I don't know, Jason, Jason, left, 350, 350. Jason, Jason left his hat up on the yeah. uh, platform here for um, New England Skyscreamer, so let's come back up here. But we're going to ride Wicked Cyclone now? I'll ride it with you. Alright, let's go. Um, this thing a walk on right now? What? Oh. All right, we have both trains running here. We can cycle them.
Listen, there's a POV from uh, from the pouch over there. Oh my god! Look, there it is. Awful. It's my legs. <laughs> cycling three times in a row without leaving the station i like that they don't have a um there's a re-ride thing here so you, if there's an empty seat you can just go back on again as long as there's no one waiting in your row of course and so it's really cool um i like that a lot yeah we rode it all three times in uh, similar rows uh, toward the back of the train such a good ride especially now it's running fast and sometimes you ride wicked cyclone on days when it's not really warm out or the train's not full of riders and it's just not as good Today it's running great. And look, there's an empty train right there going over the top of the lift hill. Right, there's a ride we won't be getting on today. I definitely wasn't expecting to see the sun come out. It's gotten like really nice out all of a sudden. I know I've mentioned this before, it's kind of unique about this park. They have their little radio station thing. It's like a DJ booth in there. They can make special announcements and they uh, talk between the songs sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't think other Six Flags parks pay people to do that. Yeah, it looks like this looks like this crew here is getting escorted out the park. I don't know what they did. Oh, this little area could use some love. This is the Rockville section. There used to be a Larson Super Loop ride right over here. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was like Fireball maybe. That might have just been what it, I mean. A lot of those rides are just called Fireball, but I'm pretty sure that's what that one was too. We're gonna head over to the other side of the park and uh, check out the B&M floorless coaster, Batman the Dark Knight, as well as the SLC that has vest restraints, so it's not that bad. Or I think we're gonna give Joker a skip for today and uh, definitely have to give Superman a ride. <laughs> Probably head down there after we're done checking out these two coasters. Tell them up here, I have to check on Kentucky because it's kind of just off here in the corner by itself. Very strange location for a flat ride. It's just off in the middle of nowhere. Looks like it's... Operating, there's a couple people on it. 
located inside the Rockville Theater over behind us. They actually have a gaming center, just like they have at Great Adventure and several other of the Six Flags parks in the chain now. It's kind of strange that they have that, in my opinion. I mean, they people come here to spend time with their family and go on rides and roller coasters and stuff. It just doesn't make sense to me to have a whole gaming thing set up like that. It's like, well, you could go play Fortnite at home or you could come with your family to the theme park. Not both, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. They probably will end up getting rid of that at some point in the future. But we're walking over here into this food festival. It looks like they're uh, doing a summer night spectacular, but they have different like booths and stuff set up. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is kind of unique. We don't have this at Great Adventure. Got some food options here for the special event. You got a special passport for samples. Oh, thank you guys for uh, subscribing. Some people just came up to me. They're like, yo, what's your channel? I love it when people do that. You know, I have only 10,000 subscribers, so and, uh, I get new followers. It's always appreciated. It's Harley Quinn's Insanity. We will not be giving that a ride today. I, my stomach does not like these rides. We have one at my home park. And uh, yeah, I rode it like eight times in a row one time because we were giving away free pins at the exit and they didn't keep track of you. So you could just keep going around and get free pins. I rode it literally eight times in a row. And we can't leave here without at least getting one ride on that thing. But first, the dark night. not got a crazy layout but it's still really good i like this ride it's not not one of my favorite pnm floorless coasters but it's, it's definitely a good fit for this park okay. oh they actually visual scan yeah. here <laughs> yeah, the the floor, Why do all the roller coasters have really steep lifts in this part? Here we go. <laughs> Whee! Whee! That was good. <laughs> I love that. I love that one so much. I just got off Batman the Dark Knight coaster. That's more forceful than I remembered. I don't know. I felt like a lot of the elements were really tightly packed together. You like really felt positive G's going through everything. Really fun. It definitely is not one of my favorite BM coasters by any stretch, but yeah, it's good. Really good. I was considering riding the Riddler Revenge, but I don't think that it's open right now. Let me just check and see if there's a chain up. Yeah, yeah, this thing's closed right now. I'm not really surprised. This thing doesn't have a very good track record of being open when I'm here. I feel like it's closed like half the time. Woo! Man, time is flying. Literally only have about a half hour left here before we have to start heading out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. They turned their antique cars ride into like a dinosaur ride through attraction. So you're riding like a little dinosaur car. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Let's see if I can get a better shot for you guys. Let's look at the little Jeeps. I'm kind of curious. I want to do this. Dino Off-Road Avenger, the new for 2023 attraction over here. Looks cool, I like the little Jeep vehicles. Kind of the preview of some of the dinosaurs
Man, that looks, that looks so big. It's like the reverse of the New England skyscraper. Like the New England skyscraper looks a lot smaller than it says it is. And like Superman looks taller than it says it is. It's kind of weird. This thing says, I think it's only like 200 feet tall or something on the, on the dot, but like, man, yeah, it's just got such a imposing like look to it. It's incredible. We're gonna go ride this thing now. I think we've put it off long enough. Superman is definitely the star attraction here. Something a little weird is the entrance to Cyborg Cyber Drive. It's like right over here off in the corner, away from everything. You gotta kinda look for it. We're not gonna go on it this time. I don't really even know. I think it's just a standard off the shelf flat ride in there with some effects, but I can't remember exactly which flat ride it is. It's some spinning ride. And I don't really think I wanna ride it. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't really care for um, spinning type of rides. I'm sure it's really cool. We'll, we will definitely ride it at some point, but just not today. Oh yeah. Guess what? Superman's a walk-on. We're gonna ride this a few times. I love this random water fountain. It's been chilling up here for years and it's never plugged. You can just like pick it up and walk around the station with it if you want. <laughs> Oh, okay, oh, that's better, that's better. Yeah, let's go. Soups. Woo! Oh, okay. Two thumbs and stab each other, ready to fly. Enjoy the best of soups. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Alright. Yeah, these restraints suck. <laughs> They used to be way better, but someone fell out of this ride back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's nothing to hold on to. <laughs> So good. <laughs>
good ride. <laughs> I wonder what's going on up there. I don't think they saw a phone from that far. Oh no, they're bringing it down. Maybe there was a phone. I don't know. I just got off Superman two times in a row in the back car and the park's actually closing in 10 minutes. They made an announcement while I was waiting in line for Superman. They said, the park is now closing at seven instead of eight. So I really have to leave now, I guess. <laughs> it's okay though. Got on all the rides we really wanted to. We got on Wicked Cyclone three times and Superman twice. And yeah, it was a really fun day overall. We actually only ended up spending about two and a half hours, I think, maybe even less here, um, but still incredible day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. I like that the marketing team had to come up with little sentences to describe each coaster, like flashback experience of 117 foot tall drop, not once, but twice. It's really funny. <laughs> How to make a bad roller coaster sound good. The Riddler sends riders down a merciless 90 foot curve. <laughs> 43 fly coaster. Riders go head over heels multiple times while sitting on the outside of the track. Never heard of that one before. Uh, I don't know, this is really funny. <laughs> Going this far past Wicked Cycle. Wow. <laughs> this is like the per I could stop like right up here and fly through and over here perfectly.